what is up guys, it's your boy Sisway here, bringing you guys barbed wire tutorial. And on this barbed wire tutorial, it's basically just going to be teaching you guys how to like uh, create barbed wire effect. Basically, it's just making barbed wire inside Cinema 4D. And you can see it right here, it's kind of sort of look the same, and uh, it's actually a pretty cool effect if you like uh, just add on effect on your Cinema 4D text or anything. So well, yeah, I'm going to do this right now and show you guys how to do this. So uh, we're just going to delete the one I have. And uh, you're going to have to need the plugin Reaper X for this to get this... Uh, right here like these kinds of perfect spline twirly twirls <laughs> but you're gonna need this effect you can simply type it on YouTube and you will find it with ease so what you wanna do is uh, you wanna drag in a circle Oop. Uh, we're gonna drag in a circle uh, you don't have to drag in a circle usually uh, reapers work with every AI meaning every uh, like clan logo you put in Cinema 4D to uh, put like stream nerves on or whatever so I'm gonna use a circle for this. You can use anything. Remember, you can use. I can even use the phase logo or AI right now as a circle replacement. So uh, just know that while we do this. So all right, what you wanna do now is you wanna go to Reaper uh, plugins, Reaper X plugin. You wanna drag that circle inside the Reaper. You wanna click on the Reaper, and then you wanna change your strands from three to two, and your radius also to two, and your distance to two, and it'll give it that tight, that tight like uh, little, like basically the tight strands you see in barbed wire right here so uh... right there you're done with that you can just simply change that off of view because all you need right now is the spline and end side so you're just going to spline click on end side and you just want to shrink this a bunch <clears throat> and uh... now what you want to do is when you click on your end side and you want to press c on your keyboard or right click make editable and then you want to go to your left side tab right here and you want to go to the third one down where these little three little points right here just basically the third one down and uh, basically you're going to see your end side change to like bluish, lightish bluish with all these points here that you can click on. Now what you want to do is right click and uh, go to your knife. And you basically want to cut in between the middle of these but closer to this little point. So maybe like right here. And the same thing on the other side. So just put it right there. And now what you want to do is click on your spine and uh, uncheck close spine. And now what you want to do is you want to go to your movement tool right here. This tool right here and take this point and you want to drag it. Before you drag it, you're in perspective mode, meaning it's all the way. You can drag it like this, and maybe you'll even go behind and not straighten everything like this, as you can see. So to prevent that from happening, because you're gonna, you, you don't want that. You want to click on your like little box right here, and then you want to change the perspective to front, like that. And so if you ever drag it, it doesn't go anywhere besides front. I mean, uh, on that same plane, you can't rotate it because you know it's only gonna be there. So what you want to do is take this point right here and just basically drag it out. Basically, it just doesn't matter the distance, but just kind of sort of copy and just keep it on the same exact line here. And we'll do the same thing with this point and drag it up and just keep it kind of sort of on the same line. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it doesn't have to be that long or either, like uh, space between them. But make it a good enough copy of what I have right here. And now what you want to do, you can go back into uh, regular perspective mode. And now what you want to do is you're going to rotate your camera a little bit. And uh, you see this point right here. You want to click on that point and uh, you want to click on your blue arrow right here hold shift right when you click you want to click hold shift and what that would do when you pull it back that you need to you want to pull it back by 10 you're going to see it automatically does that by one click so uh, all you got to do is do this again for every one of these points right here uh, that point right there and this one click hold shift and that one tick will just automatically drag it down by 10 and the last point right here and boom and so now what you're going to have is this like little kind of sort of right here I don't know how to explain it but you're gonna have this so far it doesn't have to be perfect remember that you could just if you basically kinda sorta have what I have here you're good so what you wanna do is click on your spine and press control C V to make a copy you wanna click on your spine spline whatever and wanna click on the uh, first tab over here and then you wanna go to your rotation <clears throat> and go to rotation B and change it from 0 to 180 when you do that you'll see the copy you made will automatically turn 180 degrees and uh, you'll have this kind of sort of spine right here. So what you want to do is quickly want to click uh, control click on both these spines. Uh, right click, connect to plus delete. That'll just make it into one spine and one spine only. So now what you want to do is uh, you want to go to your extreme nerves, go to your sweep nerves, and uh, click on sweep nerves. I meant, and then you want to go back to your spine and click another circle. So you want to drag your circle and your spine into the sweep nerves and change your circle's radius from 200 to about three and uh, when you do that you're gonna have this right here it's real basic now what you want to do is you want to click on your stream nerves you want to go to your details if your details are not drop down all you gotta do is drop down your details arrow 
uh, you want to go to your scale, you want to go to right click cubic, and uh, some cubics, uh, cubics, the hell, some uh, people's preset for cubic already has like the dots or whatever. So if you guys already have dots like me, if it's just a straight line, you just want to click on a dot, doesn't really matter. Then you want to uh, just right click cubic again, and it'll basically, oops. You want to just click it four times. One, two, three, or three times. Three times, just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, but then when you go right click cubic again, it'll make it like so. Uh, by the way, if you already have it like that, just leave it like that. But if you, like I said, if you don't have, if you just have a straight line like I do, just quickly press three points, some like somewhat in the middle, one at kind of the start, like the first line, and one at the second, less, uh, second to last line. And then you just want to right click cubic, like I said. And now what you want to do is drag each point that you have and put them up, make sure you click on them, drag it up, click it, drag it up, and you, the last dot you just want to drag down. So as you see what that did, it just basically made a point uh, or a sharper little edge, whatever, on uh, each of these sides. Uh, so now is the easy part. You just want to click on your sweep nerves, hold alt, and go to MoGraph Cloner. You don't have to hold alt, but what holding alt does is basically puts whatever you're clicking on, like one of these like functions or whatever, and automatically puts it in. So if you guys don't want to hold alt, you can just simply go to MoGraph Cloner and drag your sweep nerves into the cloner. And uh, you want to click on cloner, and you want to go to your mode or go to object mode. Change it from linear to object, and uh, it'll, it'll disappear. That's standard. And then you want to go to whatever is in your Reaper, the whatever you want to put the bar bar effect on. Like I said, if I had a phase logo in this position, you can do a phase logo. But I have a circle right here, so you want to click on. You make you want to make sure you have your AI set, so you can click on your uh, cloner and drag your circle or your or whatever clan AI you're using into. Uh, object and drag into this object right here. You're gonna see this like thing. It'll automatically snap to it. So all you gotta do is drag whatever your AI is into your object, and you'll see that it basically clones it into like perfect space and everything. So it's all set for you. And uh, if yours are really big, it doesn't matter. You can always just shrink it with the shrink tool or the scale down tool, like so. But then if you also do that, you're changing the uh, the circle's radius. So you want to go back into your sweep nerves, go to circle, and make sure you change your radius back to one. Maybe that will happen for you. It doesn't matter. But if that, if you, when you shrink it, just make sure you change the radius back, because otherwise it's gonna be super skinny and like unnoticeable. So uh, there you guys go. There's the bar wire effect. As you can see, it's actually pretty sick. It's gonna be a pretty cool effect to see. I'm sure you see it already. And uh, yeah, hopefully this helped you guys. And I uh, thank you guys for watching and like the video and stuff and ask for other tutorials. Uh, this was requested by someone else, and I figured out how to do it by uh, asking one of my friends. So thanks to him and. You're welcome to the person who asked for it. I'll see you guys later. So switch you out. Peace.